Dodge, formerly the Dodge division of Chrysler Corporation, is an American brand of automobiles, minivans, and sport utility vehicles manufactured by Chrysler Group LLC, based in Auburn Hills, Michigan. Dodge vehicles presently include the lower-priced badge variants of Chrysler badged vehicles as well as performance cars, though for much of its existence Dodge was Chrysler's mid-priced brand above Plymouth. Founded as the Dodge Brothers Company by brothers Horace Elgin Dodge and John Francis Dodge in 1900, Dodge was originally a supplier of parts and assemblies for Detroit-based automakers and began building complete automobiles in 1915, predating the founding of Chrysler Corporation. The Dodge Brothers died suddenly in 1920 and the company was sold to Dillon, Reed and Company in 1925 before being sold to Chrysler in 1928. Dodge vehicles mainly consisted of trucks and full-sized passenger cars through the 1970s, though it did make some inroads into the compact car market during this time. The 1973 oil crisis and its subsequent impact on the American automobile industry led Chrysler to develop the K-platform of compact to mid-size cars for the 1981 model year. The K-platform and its derivatives are credited with reviving Chrysler's business in the 1980s. One such derivative became the Dodge Caravan. The Dodge brand has withstood the multiple ownership changes at Chrysler from 1998 to Euro 2009, including its short-lived merger with Daimler-Benz AG from 1998 to Euro 2007, its subsequent sale to Cerberus Capital Management, its 2009 bailout by the United States government, and its subsequent Chapter 11 bankruptcy and acquisition by Fiat. In 2011, Dodge, Ram, and Dodge's Viper were separated. Dodge said that the Dodge Viper will now be an SRT product and Ram will be a manufacturer. In 2014, SRT was merged back into Dodge. History, Founding and Early Years After the founding of the Dodge Brothers Company by Horace and John Dodge in 1900, the Detroit-based company quickly found work producing precision engine and chassis components for the Citya Euro unregistered trademark s burgeoning number of automobile firms. Chief among these customers were the established Olds Motor Vehicle Company and the then new Ford Motor Company. By 1914, Horace had found a solution by creating the new four-cylinder Dodge Model 30. Marketed as a slightly more upscale competitor to the ubiquitous Ford Model T, it pioneered or made standard many features later taken for granted, all steel body construction, 12-volt electrical system, 35 horsepower, and sliding gear transmission. As a result of this, and the brothers' well-earned reputation for the highest quality truck, transmission and motor parts they made for other successful vehicles, Dodge Brothers' cars were ranked at second place for U.S. sales as early as 1916. That same year, Henry Ford decided to stop paying stock dividends to finance the construction of his new River Rouge complex. This led the Dodgers to file suit to protect their annual stock earnings of approximately $1 million, in turn, leading Ford to buy out his shareholders. The Dodgers were paid some $25 US dollars a million. Also in 1916, Dodge Brothers vehicles won acclaim for durability while in service with the US Army's Pancho Villa expedition into Mexico. One notable instance was in May when the 6th Infantry received a reported sighting of Julio Cardenas, one of Villa's most trusted subordinates. Lieutenant George S. Patton led ten soldiers and two civilian guides in three Dodge Model 30 touring cars to conduct a raid at a ranch house in San Miguelito, Sonora. During the ensuing firefight the party killed three men, of whom one was identified as Cardenas. Patton's men tied the bodies to the hoods of the Dodges, returning to headquarters in Dublin Inn and an excited reception from U.S. newspapermen. Death of the Dodge Brothers, sale to Chrysler. Dodge Brothers cars continued to rank second place in American sales in 1920. However, the same year, tragedy struck as John Dodge was felled by pneumonia in January. His brother Horace then died of cirrhosis in December of the same year. With the loss of both founders, the Dodge Brothers company passed in the hands of the brothers' widows, who promoted longtime employee Frederick Haynes to the company presidency. During this time, the Model 30 was evolved to become the new Series 116. However, 
Throughout the 1920s Dodge gradually lost its ranking as the third best-selling automobile manufacturer, slipping down to seventh in the U.S. market. Dodge Brothers emerged as a leading builder of light trucks. They also entered into an agreement whereby they marketed trucks built by Graham Brothers of Evansville, Indiana. The three Graham Brothers would later produce Graham Page and Graham Automobiles. Stagnation in development was becoming apparent, however, and the public responded by dropping Dodge Brothers to fifth place in the industry by 1925. That year, the Dodge Brothers Company was sold by the widows to the well-known investment group Dillon, Reed & Company for no less than $146 US a million. Dillon, Reed & Company offered non-voting stock on the market in the new Dodge Brothers, Inc. firm, and along with the sale of bonds was able to raise $160 a million, reaping a $14 a million profit. All voting stock was retained by Dillon, Reed. Frederick Haynes remained as company head until for example Wilmer was named board chairman in November, 1926. Wilmer was a banker with no auto experience and Haynes remained as president. Changes to the car, save for superficial things like trim levels and colors, remained minimal until 1927, when the new senior six-cylinder line was introduced. The former four-cylinder line was kept on but renamed the Fast 4 line until it was dropped in favor of two lighter six-cylinder models for 1928. On October 1, 1925, Dodge Brothers, Inc. acquired a 51% interest in Graham Brothers, Inc. for $13 a million and the remaining 49% on May 1, 1926. The three Graham Brothers, Robert, Joseph and Ray, assumed management positions in Dodge Brothers before departing early in 1927. Despite all this, Dodge Bro first a Euro unregistered trademark sales had already dropped to seventh place in the industry by 1927, and Dylan, Reed began looking for someone to take over the company on a more permanent basis. Eventually Dodge was sold to Chrysler Corporation in 1928. Pre-war years. To fit better in the Chrysler Corporation lineup, Alongside low-priced Plymouth and medium-priced DeSoto, the Gear Euro unregistered trademark S lineup for early 1930 was trimmed down to a core group of two lines and 13 models. Prices started out just above DeSoto but were somewhat less than top of the line Chrysler. In a small-scale recreation of General Motors, a Euro unregistered trademark a Euro O step up a Euro marketing concept for 1930. Dodge took another step up by adding a new eight-cylinder line to replace the existing senior six-cylinder. This basic format of a dual line with six and eight models continued through 1933, and the cars were gradually streamlined and lengthened in step with prevailing trends of the day. The Dodge 8 was replaced by a larger Dodge Deluxe 6 for 1934 and which was dropped for 1935. A long wheelbase edition of the remaining six was added for 1936 and would remain a part of the lineup for many years. The Dodge line, along with most of the corporation a Euro unregistered trademark S output, was restyled in the so-called Euro OE Winstry Armour Euro look for 1935. This was a mild form of streamlining, which saw sales jump remarkably over the previous year. Dodge never got the radical airflow styling that was the cause of depressed sales of Chrysler's and DeSoto's from 1934 to 1937. Dodge added safety features such as a smooth, flat dashboard with no protruding knobs, curved indoor handles, and padded front seat backs for the benefit of the rear seat occupants. Another major restyle arrived for the 25th anniversary 1939 models, which Dodge dubbed the Luxury Liner Series. These were once again completely redesigned with new bodies for 1940, again in 1941, and a refreshing for 1942. However, just after the 1942 models were introduced, Japan a Euro unregistered trademark S attack on Pearl Harbor forced the shutdown of the GIA Euro unregistered trademark S passenger car assembly lines in favor of war production in February 1942. World War II Chrysler was prolific in its production of war material from 1942 to 1945, and Dodge in particular was well known to both average citizens and thankful soldiers for their tough military spec truck models and ambulances like the WC-54. 
starting with the hastily converted VC series and evolving into the celebrated WC series. Dodge built a strong reputation for itself that readily carried over into civilian models after the war. Post-war years Civilian production at Dodge was restarted by late 1945, in time for the 1946 model year. The seller's market of the early post-war years, brought on by the lack of any new cars throughout the war, meant that every automaker found it easy to sell vehicles regardless of any drawbacks they might have. Like almost every other automaker, Dodge sold lightly facelifted revisions of its 1942 design through the 1948 season. As before, these were a single series of six-cylinder models with two trim levels. Styling was not initially the Geo Euro unregistered trademark S strong point during this period, though that began to change by 1953 under the direction of corporate design chief Virgil Kschneer. At the same time, Dodge also introduced its first V8 engine a Euro the Red Ram Hemi, a smaller version of the original design of the famed Hemi. The new 1953 bodies were smaller and based on the Plymouth. For 1954, sales dropped, the stubby styling not going over well with the public. 1954 also saw the introduction of the fully automatic power flight transmission. New corporate a Euro OE Ford look a Euro styling for 1955 began a new era for Dodge. With steadily upgraded styling and ever stronger engines every year through 1960, Dodge found a ready market for its products as America discovered the joys of freeway travel. This situation improved when Dodge introduced a new line of Dodges called the Dart to do battle against Ford, Chevrolet, and Plymouth. The result was that Dodge sales in the middle price class collapsed. Special and regional models were sold as well, including the La Femme and the Texan, a gold-accented Dodge sold in the Lone Star State. Dodge entered the compact car field for 1961 with their new Lancer, a variation on Plymouth's Valiant. Though it was not initially successful, the Dart range that succeeded the Lancer in 1963 would prove to be one of the division's top sellers for many years. Chrysler did make an ill-advised move to downsize the Dodge and Plymouth full-size lines for 1962, which resulted in a loss of sales. However, they turned this around in 1965 by turning those former full-sizes into new mid-size models. Dodge revived the Coronet nameplate in this way and later added a sporty fastback version called the Charger that became both a sales leader and a winner on the NASCAR circuit. Not only did this style dominate the racetrack for four full years, its aerodynamic improvements forever changed the face of NASCAR racing. Full-size models evolved gradually during this time. After Dodge dealers complained about not having a true full-size car in the fall of 1961, the Custom 880 was hurried into production. The Custom 880 used the 1962 Chrysler Newport body with the 1961 Dodge front end and interior. The 880 continued into 1965, the year a completely new full-size body was put into production, the Pilara entered the medium price class and the Monaco was added as the top series. The Pilara and Monaco were changed mostly in appearance for the next 10 years or so. Unique fuselage styling was employed for 1969 through 1973 and then was toned down again for the 1974 to 1977 models. Dodge is well known today for being a player in the muscle car market of the late 1960s and early 1970s. Along with the Charger, models like the Coronet T and Super B were popular with buyers seeking performance. The pinnacle of this effort was the introduction of the Challenger Sports Coupe and Convertible in 1970, which offered everything from mild economy engines up to the wild race-ready Hemi V8 in the same package. In an effort to reach every segment of the market, Dodge even reached a hand across the Pacific to its partner, Mitsubishi Motors, and marketed their subcompact as the Colt to compete with the AMC Gremlin, Chevrolet Vega, and Ford Pinto. Chrysler would over the years come to rely heavily on their relationship with Mitsubishi. Times of Crisis The 1973 oil crisis caused significant changes at Dodge, as well as Chrysler as a whole. Except for the cold and slant six models of the Dart, Dodge's lineup was quickly seen as extremely inefficient. In fairness, this was true of most American automakers at the time, but Chrysler was also not in the best financial shape to do anything about it. 
Consequently, while General Motors and Ford were quick to begin downsizing their largest cars, Chrysler moved more slowly out of necessity. At the very least, Chrysler was able to use some of its other resources. Borrowing the recently introduced Chrysler Horizon from their European division, Dodge was able to get its new Omni subcompact on the market fairly quickly. At the same time, they increased the number of models imported from Mitsubishi, first came a smaller Colt, then a revival of the Challenger as a Mitsubishi compact hardtop coupe with nothing more than a four-cylinder under the hood, rather than the booming V8S of yore. Bigger Dodges, though, remained rooted in old habits. The Dart was replaced by a new Aspen for 1976, and Coronet and Charger were effectively replaced by the Diplomat for 1977, which was actually a fancier Aspen. While the Aspen got accolades for styling and handling, build quality was problematic, sullying the car's reputation at the time when sales were desperately needed. Meanwhile, the huge Monaco models hung around through 1977, losing sales every year, until finally being replaced by the St. Regis for 1979 following a one-year absence from the big car market. In a reversal of what happened for 1965, the St. Regis was an upsized coronet. Buyers, understandably, were confused and chose to shop the competition rather than figure out what was going on at Dodge. Everything came to a head in 1979 when a Chrysler's new chairman, Lee Iacocca, requested and received federal loan guarantees from the United States Congress in an effort to save the company from having to file bankruptcy. With a federal loan in hand, Chrysler quickly set to work on new models that would leave the past behind while reorganizing to pay the government loan which stood at 29%. K-cars and minivans The first fruit of Chrysler's crash development program was the K-car, the Dodge version of which was the Dodge Aries. This basic and durable front-wheel drive platform spawned a whole range of new models at Dodge during the 1980s, including the groundbreaking Dodge Caravan. The caravan not only helped save Chrysler as a serious high-volume American automaker, but also spawned an entirely new market segment that remains popular today, the minivan. Through the late 1980s and 1990s, Dodge's designation as the sporty car division was backed by a succession of high-performance and or aggressively styled models including the Daytona, mid-sized 600 and several versions of the Lancer. The Dodge Spirit sedan was well received in numerous markets worldwide. The Omni remained in the line through 1990. Dodge branded Mitsubishi vehicles were phased out by 1993 except for the Dodge Stealth running through 1996, though Mitsubishi made engines and electrical components were still widely used in American domestic Chrysler products. In 1992, Dodge moved their performance orientation forward substantially with the Viper which featured an aluminum V10 engine and composite sports roadster body. This was the first step in what was marketed as the new Dodge, which was an aggressive advertising campaign with a litany of new models, with television ads narrated by Edward Harriman that pointed out the innovations in the vehicles and challenged their competitors. Later that year, was the introduction of new Intrepid sedan, totally different from its boxy dynasty predecessor and for 1993, the new Dodge Ram pickup was introduced with bold styling. The Intrepid used what Chrysler called cab Ford styling, with the wheels pushed out to the corners of the chassis for maximum passenger space. They followed up on this idea in a smaller scale with the Stratus and Neon, both introduced for 1995. The Neon in particular was a hit, buoyed by a clever marketing campaign and good performance. The modern era, Daimler Chrysler and private ownership. In a move that never lived up to the expectations of its driving forces, Chrysler Corporation merged with Daimler-Benz AG in 1998 to form Daimler Chrysler. Rationalizing Chrysler's broad lineup was a priority, and Dodge's sister brand Plymouth was withdrawn from the market. With this move, Dodge became Daimler Chrysler's low-price division as well as its performance division. The Intrepid, Stratus and neon updates of the 1998-2000 time frame were largely complete before Daimler's presence, and Dodge's first experience of any platform sharing with the German side of the company was the 2005 Magnum station wagon, introduced as a replacement for the Intrepid. 
featuring Chrysler's first mainstream rear-wheel drive platform since the 1980s and a revival of the Hemi V8 engine, it was a modest success. The Charger was launched in 2006 on the same platform. Further cost savings were explored in the form of an extensive platform sharing arrangement with Mitsubishi, which spawned the Caliber subcompact as a replacement for the Neon and the Avenger sedan. The rear drive chassis was then used in early 2008 to build a new Challenger, with styling reminiscent of the original 1970 Challenger. Like its predecessor, the new Challenger Coupe was available with a powerful V8 engine. In spring 2007, Daimler Chrysler reached an agreement with Cerberus Capital Management to dump its Chrysler Group subsidiary, of which the Dodge division was a part. Soon after, the housing bubble began to collapse the American market, and on May 1, 2009, Chrysler and GM filed for bankruptcy on the same day. Fiat ownership, on June 10, 2009, Italian automaker Fiat formed a partnership with Chrysler under Sergio Martian, with the UAW and the U.S. government to form Chrysler Group LLC, of which Dodge remained fully integrated. For its part, the U.S. government provided more than $6 billion in loans at 21%, called a bridge loan, or bailout. The newly formed company went on to fully repay that loan, remortgaging to reduce the interest rate several times down to 6%. They fully paid back the loan with interest to the U.S. government on May 24, 2011, a full five years early. The UAW, being partners throughout the process, were paid well and above $3.9 billion in 2013 as Sergio's plan for full consolidation has continued on schedule. This has allowed Chrysler LLC to fully merge with Fiat to form FCA, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, in 2014. The combined company will be based in London. In 2013, Dodge reintroduced a compact car based on an Alfa Romeo design called the Dart. It was the first new Dodge model produced under FCA. On May 6, 2014, FCA announced a major restructuring, in which Dodge would focus solely on performance vehicles and will be positioned between Chrysler and a relaunched Alfa Romeo in the FCA lineup. This is a setup similar to PSA Peugeot Citroën which positions Peugeot as its conservative mainstream brand while Citroën is more performance-based, as well as Hyundai Motor Group having its two mainstream brands, Kia Motors and Hyundai Motor Company focusing on performance and mid-luxury, respectively. As part of the restructuring, Dodge will discontinue the Dodge Grand Caravan and Dodge Avenger without replacements, while launching a sporty subcompact below the Dart in 2018. Additionally, while the Ram Trucks division will remain separate, the SRT division was merged back into Dodge. Dodge Trucks Over the years, Dodge has become at least as well known for its many truck models as for its prodigious passenger car output. In 2009, trucks were spun off into the Ram brand, named after the brand's most popular truck, the Dodge Ram. However, it should be noted that even though the Ram Trucks are marketed separately from Dodge cars, Ram President Fred Diaz has stated that Ram trucks will always and forever be Dodges. Ram will always have the Dodge emblem inside and outside and they will be banned as a Dodge. We need to continue to market as Ram so Dodge can have a different brand identity, hip, cool, young, energetic. That will not fit the campaign for truck buyers. The two should have distinct themes. To say this has been a success is an understatement. In 2011, the Ram introduced the Outdoorsman, a low mid-cost, focused vehicle for, well, Outdoorsman. Completely sold out in 2012, the Ram added the Ram BOX to the rear quarter panels with locking features. The result can be marked by a first in automotive history of the 2013 and 2014 Ram 1 back, 2, back motor trends truck of the year. It helps that the 2014 Ram has a diesel 9 speed to provide 25 mpg more torque and hauling capability, without giving up performance. Pickups and medium to heavy trucks Ever since the beginning of its history in 1914, Dodge has offered light truck models. For the first few years, these were based largely on the existing passenger cars, but eventually gained their own chassis and body designs as the market matured. Light and medium duty models were offered first, 
then a heavy-duty range was added during the 1930s and 1940s. Following World War II and the successful application of four-wheel drive to the truck line, Dodge introduced a civilian version that it called the Power Wagon. At first based almost exactly on the military-type design, variants of the standard truck line were eventually given 4WD and the same a Euro OE Paragon a Euro name. Dodge was among the first to introduce car-like features to its trucks, adding the plush adventurer package during the 1960s and offering sedan-like space in its club cab bodies of the 1970s. Declining sales and increased competition during the 1970s eventually forced the company to drop its medium and heavy-duty models, an arena the company has only recently begun to re-enter. Dodge introduced what they called the Adult Toys line to boost its truck sales in the late 1970s, starting off with a limited edition Little Red Express pickup. Later came the more widely available Warlock. Other adult toys from Dodge included the Macho Power Wagon and Street Van. As part of a general decline in the commercial vehicle field during the 1970s, Dodge eliminated their LCF series heavy-duty trucks in 1975, along with the Bighorn and medium-duty D-series trucks, and affiliated S-series school buses were dropped in 1978. On the other hand, Dodge produced several thousand pickups for the United States military under the CUCV program from the late 1970s into the early 1980s. Continuing financial problems meant that even the G Euro unregistered trademark S light duty models a Euro renamed as the Ram pickup line for 1981 a Euro were carried over with the most minimal of updates until 1993. Two things helped to revitalize the Gia Euro unregistered trademark S fortunes during this time. First was their introduction of Cummins a Euro unregistered trademark powerful and reliable B series turbo diesel engine as an option for 1989. This innovation raised the Gia Euro unregistered trademark S profile among serious truck buyers who needed power for towing or large loads. A mid sized Dakota pickup, which later offered a class exclusive V8 engine, was also an attractive draw. Dodge introduced the Rams all new a Euro O a big rig Euro styling treatment for 1994. Besides its instantly polarizing looks, exposure was also gained by usage of the new truck on the hit TV show Walker, Texas Ranger starring Chuck Norris. The new Ram also featured a totally new interior with a console box big enough to hold a laptop computer or ventilation and radio controls that were designed to be easily used even with gloves on. A V10 engine derived from that used in the Viper sports car was also new, and the previously offered Cummins turbo diesel remained available. The smaller Dakota was redesigned in the same vein for 1997, thus giving Dodge trucks a definitive a Euro OF a sheer Euro that set them apart from the competition. The Ram was redesigned again for 2002, basically as an evolution of the original but now featuring the revival of Chrysler a Euro unregistered trademark S legendary Hemi V8 engine. New medium-duty chassis cab models were introduced for 2007, as a way of gradually getting Dodge back in the business truck market again. For a time during the 1980s, Dodge also imported a line of small pickups from Mitsubishi. Known as the D50 or the Ram 50. They were carried on as a stopgap until the Dakota Euro unregistered trademark S sales eventually made the imported trucks irrelevant. Vans, Dodge had offered panel delivery models for many years since its founding, but their first purpose-built van model arrived for 1964 with the Compact A series. Based on the Dodge Dart platform and using its proven six-cylinder or V8 engines, the A series was a strong competitor for both its domestic rivals and the diminutive Volkswagen Transporter line. As the market evolved, however, Dodge realized that a bigger and stronger van line would be needed in the future. Thus, the B series, introduced from 1971, offered both car like comfort in its sportsman passenger line or expansive room for gear and materials in its tradesman cargo line. A chassis cab version was also offered for use with bigger cargo boxes or flatbeds. Like the trucks, though, Chrysler a Euro unregistered trademark S dire financial straits of the late 1970s precluded any major updates for the bands for many years. Rebadged as the Ram Van and Ram Wagon for 1981, 
This venerable design carried on for 33 years with little more than cosmetic and safety updates all the way to 2003. The Daimler Chrysler merger of 1999 made it possible for Dodge to explore new ideas. Hence the European-styled Mercedes-Benz Sprinter line of vans was brought over and given a Dodge styling treatment. Redesigned for 2006 as a 2007 model, the economical diesel-powered Sprinters have become very popular for city usage among delivery companies like FedEx and UPS in recent years. Because of their fuel efficiency major motorhome manufacturer Thor Motor Coach made several Class C and Class A motorhomes available on the Dodge Sprinter chassis including their popular Four Wine Siesta and Chateau Citation product lines. Dodge also offered a cargo version of its best-selling caravan for many years, at first calling it the Mini Ramban and later dubbing it the Caravan CV. However, for model year 2011, the Caravan CV was rebranded as a Ram, called the Ram CV. Sport Utility Vehicles, Dodge Euro unregistered trademark s first experiments with anything like a sport utility vehicle appeared in the late 1950s with a windowed version of their standard panel truck, known as the Town Wagon. These were built in the same style through the mid-1969s. But the division didn't enter the SUV arena in earnest until 1974, with a purpose-built Ram Charger. Offering the then-popular open-body style and Dodge's powerful V8 engines, the Ram Charger was a strong competitor for trucks like the Ford Bronco, Chevrolet Blazer and International Harvester Scout II. Once again, though, Dodge was left with outdated products during the 1980s as the markets evolved. The Ram Charger hung on through 1993 with only minor updates. When the Ram truck was redesigned for the 1994 model year, the Ram Charger was discontinued in the American and Canadian markets. A version using the updated styling was made for the Mexican market but was never imported to the US or Canada. Instead, Dodge tried something new in 1998. Using the mid-sized Dakota pickups chassis as a base, they built the four-door Durango SUV with seating for eight people and created a new niche. Sized between smaller SUVs and larger models, Durango was both a bit more and bit less of everything. The redesigned version for 2004 grew a little bit in every dimension, becoming a full-size SUV, but was still sized between most of its competitors on either side of the aisle. For 2011 a new Anibody Durango based on the Jeep Grand Cherokee was released. The 2011 Durango shrank slightly to size comparable to the original model. Dodge also imported a version of Mitsubishi Euro unregistered trademark S popular Montero as the Raider from 1987 to 1989. International markets, Dodge vehicles are now available in many countries throughout the world. Argentina Dodge came to Argentina in the early 20th century with imported cars and trucks. But, since 1960, has partnered with a local representative, Ferro Bassett. The first vehicle made in Argentina was the pickup D100 Septilt. From 1961 to 1980 arrives the trucks, like, D400 slash DP400 D500 slash DP500 DP600, DD900 and DD1000. Respecting the passenger cars, made the Valiant Iron II, and the local versions of the 1966 Dodge Dart. For 1971, arrives the Dodge 1500, a rebadged Ilman Avenger from UK. In 1982, ceased the Dodge brand, because Volkswagen bought the Fevre plant and the shares. In 1993, Dodge cars and pickups began to be marketed in the country. Currently, the journey in the Ram sold in Argentina by Dodge. Asia, Dodge entered the Japanese market in mid-2007, and re-entered the Chinese markets in late 2007. Suast Motors of China assembles the caravan for the Chinese market. Dodge had already been marketing its vehicles in South Korea since 2004, starting with the Dakota. Dodge vehicles have been sold in the Middle East for a considerably longer period. Australia. Dodge re-entered the Australian market in 2006 with the Caliber, their first offering since the AT4-D5N trucks in 1979 and the first Dodge passenger car to be marketed in Australia since the Phoenix sedan was discontinued in 1973. The second model to be introduced was the Nitro, 
with the Avenger and Journey followed. Dodge chose not to use the full model lines and engines available to them, the 2.7L V6 being available in the Journey and Avenger instead of the 3.2 in the North American versions. However they did introduce diesel engines in all their cars. Following the global financial crisis, Chrysler introduced the facelifted model of the Caliber and discontinued the Avenger imports. From early 2012 on, model year 2010 cars were available. By early 2012 no new cars were being brought into Australia aside from the new facelifted 2012 journey. There are now rumours that Dodge cars will be rebadged as Fiat's in the Australian market as has happened in Europe. In contrast, recent speculation has suggested that the Dodge name plate will continue on until at least 2015, due to consistent sales of the journey. Brazil, in Brazil, Dodge cars were produced between 1969 and 1981 with the models Dart, Charger, Magnum, Le Baron, and the compact 1800 Polara, based on the British Hillman Avenger. The manufacturer was acquired by Volkswagen in 1981. In 1998, the Dakota pickup started production in a new plant in Campo Largo, Piranha by Mercedes-Benz, which belongs to its former partner Daimler AG. It was built there until 2001 with petrol and diesel engines and regular, extended and crew cabs. In 2010, Dodge started sales of the imported pickup Ram 2500. The model portfolio is being expanded, starting with the Journey crossover for the 2009 model year. Canada, in Canada, the Dodge lineup of cars started down the road to elimination along with a Plymouth line when in 1988 the Dodge Dynasty was sold in Canada as the Chrysler Dynasty and sold at both Plymouth and Dodge dealers. Similarly, the new Dodge Intrepid, the Dynasty's replacement, was sold as the Chrysler Intrepid. For 2000, the new Neon became the Chrysler Neon. The Chrysler Cirrus and Mitsubishi built Dodge Avenger were dropped. Dodge trucks which have been sold at Canadian Plymouth dealers since 1973, continued without change. All Plymouth Chrysler and Dodge Chrysler dealers became Chrysler Dodge Jeep dealers. The diluting of the Chrysler name did not go well in Canada, especially as the nameplate had been pushed as a luxury line since the 1930s. For 2003, the revamped Neon appeared in Canada as the Dodge SX 2.0. Since then all new Dodge models have been sold in Canada under the Dodge name. Europe, Dodge started assembling lorries in the United Kingdom, from imported parts, in 1922. In 1933 it began to manufacture a British chassis, at its works in Kew, using American engines and gearboxes. Right-hand drive Dodge trucks, following Chrysler's takeover of the British Roots Group, Simca of France, and Barreiros of Spain, and the resultant establishment of Chrysler Europe in the late 1960s, the Dodge brand was used on light commercial vehicles, most of which were previously branded Comma or Carrier, on pickup and van versions of the Simca 1100, on the Spanish Dodge Dart, and on heavy trucks built in Spain. The most common of these was the Dodge 50 series, widely used by utility companies in the military, but rarely seen outside the UK and the Spanish-built heavy-duty 300 series available as 4X2, 6X4, 8X2, and 8X4 rigids, as well as 4X2 semi-trailer tractors. All of these were also sold in selected export markets badged either as Fargo or DeSoto. Following Chrysler Europe's collapse in 1977, and the sale of their assets to Peugeot, the Chrysler Dodge British and Spanish factories were quickly passed on to Renault via copyright Hickules Industrials, who gradually rebranded the range of vans and trucks as Renaults through the 1980s. They would eventually drop these products altogether and use the plants to produce engines and real Renault truck models in Spain. Dodge vehicles would not return to the UK until the introduction of the Neon, badged as a Chrysler, in the mid-1990s. The Dodge Mark was reintroduced to Europe on a broad scale in 2006. Currently, the Dodge lineup in Europe consists of the Caliber, Avenger, Viper SRT10, Nitro and Dodge Journey. However, in 2010 Chrysler pulled the Dodge Mark from the UK lineup due to poor sales. On June 1, 2011 the Dodge name was dropped from the rest of Europe when it was replaced by the Fiat brand, 
where Fiat rebadged the Dodge Journey as the Fiat Fremont. However, the Fremont is not available in the Ireland or UK Fiat lineup. Mexico, in Mexico, the Hyundai Accent, Hyundai Artos, and Hyundai H100 are branded as Dodge, or Verna by Dodge, Artos by Dodge, and Dodge H100 respectively, and sold at Chrysler Dodge dealers. Current models are marketed with Hyundai logos instead of the Ram logo on previous model years. Dodge and Hyundai will end the venture and Dodge will use rebadged and reworked Fiat's logos, star. The original Dodge was a circle, with two interlocking triangles forming a six-pointed star in the middle. An interlock DB was at the center of the star, and the words Dodge Brothers Motor Vehicles encircled the outside edge. Although similar to the Star of David, the Dodge Brothers were not Jewish. Although the Brothers was dropped from the name for trucks in 1929 and cars in 1930, the DB star remained in the cars until the 1939 models were introduced. Ram, for 1932 Dodge cars adopted a leaping ram as the car's hood ornament. Starting with the 1940 models the leaping ram became more streamlined and by 1951 only the head, complete with curving horns, remained. The 1954 model cars were the last to use the ram's head before the rebirth in the 1980s. Dodge trucks adopted the ram as the hood ornament for the 1940 model year with the 1950 models as the last. Crest, for 1941 Dodge introduced a crest, supposedly the Dodge family crest. The design had four horizontal bars broken in the middle by one vertical bar with an O in the center. A knight's head appeared at the top of the emblem. Although the head would be dropped for 1955, the emblem would survive through 1957 and reappear on the 1976 Aspen. The crest would be used through to 1981 on its second time around being replaced by the Pentastar for 1982. The knight's head without the crest would be used for 1959. Ford Look, Virgil Schneer's radical Ford Look redesign of Chrysler Corporation's vehicles for the 1955 model year was emphasized by the adoption of a logo by the same name, applied to all Chrysler Corporation vehicles. The Ford Look logo consisted of two overlapped boomerang shapes, suggesting space-age rocket-propelled motion. This logo was incorporated into Dodge advertising, decorative trim, ignition and door key heads, and accessories through September 1962. See also, Ford Look, Fratzog, Dodge's logo from September 1962 through 1981 was a fractured deltoid composed of three arrowhead shapes forming a three-pointed star. The logo first appeared on the 1962 Polara 500 and the mid-year 1962 Custom 880. One of its designers came up with the meaningless name Fratzog for the logo, which ultimately stuck. As the Dodge Division's logo, Fratzog was incorporated in various badges and emblems on Dodge vehicles. It was also integrated into the design of such parts as steering wheel center hubs and road wheel covers. Pentastar, from 1982 to 1995, Dodge used Chrysler's Pentastar logo on its cars and trucks to replace the Dodge Crest although it had been used for corporate recognition since late 1962. In advertisements and on dealer signage, Dodge's Pentastar was red, while Chrysler Plymouth's was blue. Ram's head, Dodge reintroduced the Ram's head hood ornament on the new 1973 Dodge Bighorn heavy-duty tractor units. Gradually the Ram's head began appearing on the pickup trucks as Dodge began to refer to their trucks as Ram. The present iteration of the Ram's head logo appeared in 1993, standardizing on that logo in 1996 for all vehicles except the Viper, which is using the Viper's head. New logo, in 2010, with a separation of the Ram brand, two new Dodge logos were unveiled. The first logo features the word Dodge with two inclined stripes. It was originally used strictly for marketing purposes. However Dodge introduced the logo onto the grills of the 2012 lineup. A second emblem was revealed during the unveiling of the 2011 Durango, which uses the same five-point shield-shaped outline of the old emblem, but with the ram's head replaced with a chrome cross reminiscent of the brand's signature crosshead grille. This is only used on the steering wheel. A modified version of the ram's head logo is still used for the ram brand, 
with RAM written across the bottom in bold white or black lettering. Slogans, An American Revolution. The New Dodge. Dodge. Different. Grab life by the horns. Grab life. Never neutral. Guts. Glory. Ram. List of Dodge automobiles. Current models. Past models. See also. Notes. References. Brinkley, Douglas. Wills for the World, Henry Ford, His Company, and a Century of Progress, 1903 Euro 2003. ISBN 0-14-200439-1. Bernus, Tad. Ultimate Truck and Van Spotter's Guide 1925 Euro 1990. ISBN 0-87341-969-3. Gunnell, John, Editor. The Standard Catalogue of American Cars 1946 Euro 1975. Krauss Publications. ISBN A 0 87341 096 3. Gunnell, John A., Ed. Standard Catalog of American Light Duty Trucks, Second Edition. ISBN 0 87341 238 9. Lensk, James T., Ed. Standard Catalog of Chrysler 1914 Euro 2000. ISBN 0-87341-882-4. Ruiz, Marco. Japanese Car. ISBN 0-517-61777-3. Classic, Bill and Stutz, Bradley are taken for a ride, how Daimler-Benz drove off with Chrysler. ISBN 0-688-17305-5. External links, Dodge USA, Dodge Canada, Alpa Mopa Vehicles, Fleet Data, History of Dodge in the Ecar Euro website of the Road Transport Fleet Data Society, www.dodge.com a Euro WW2 Dodge Truck History, Site for Military Dodges Produce 1939 a Euro 1945, Oldodges.com a Euro site devoted to Dodge medium and heavy duty trucks of the 1960s and 1970s, primarily focusing on the Dodge Bighorn trucks.